I'm Ron Kurtz, I'm President and CEO of RX Sight, maker of the light adjustable lens and the light delivery device. The first and only intraocular lens that can be adjusted after it's been implanted into the eye. We're so excited to be coming to South Korea very soon uh, and making this lens available to uh, patients and doctors uh, in Korea. Uh, we're looking forward to working with uh, all of you and uh, excited about the opportunity to bringing this technology to Asia. Thank you so much. Can you explain the RX Sight mechanism? Sure, the, the uh, LAL, the light adjustable lens, mm -hmm. is a silicone lens. It is a lens that you can change the shape of it while it's in the eye mm -hmm. using only light. So what you do is you perform normal cataract surgery, you put the lens into the bag, just like you would any other IOL, and then you let the eye heal. And then as the eye heals, the lens changes its position and reaches eventually its final position. You get the final refraction. It takes about three to four weeks. And then you can refract the patient, find out what their error is, and then you program a machine with that refractive error and it generates a pattern of light, which is then sent into the eye by the physician, and that changes the shape of the lens, eliminating all of the refractive error. Oh, yeah, it's very fantastic. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was developed for over 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an invention by an ophthalmologist mm -hmm. from UC San Francisco, mm -hmm. together working with a chemist, a Nobel Prize winning chemist oh. at Caltech University, mm -hmm. and it uses two types of silicone. One silicone is cured in our factory and the other is cured inside the eye by the physician. About 20% of the lens is this mobile silicone which can change and flow within the lens. So when you shine the pattern of light into the eye, that polymerizes that silicone that, that is mobile and then the rest of the silicone moves in, changes the shape of the lens. This is very dramatic. Yes, and because the humans have two eyes, you can use a combination of refractions in the two eyes to give patients a wide range of visual acuity over uh, distance to near, intermediate, allow them to use a computer, work in small uh, things that are right in front of them, and also get great distance vision. And because it's a monofocal lens, it has very low dysphotopsias, excellent quality of vision, giving patients the ability to see in very challenging low light conditions as well as over a wide range as well. Also, the is a right adjustable lens is correct the astigmatism? Yes, it corrects both spherical errors and astigmatism. Uh, it also has the ability to adjust the spherical aberration of the lens as well with a light profile. So it's the only lens that you can actually change the spherical aberration inside the eye. Also, how many times did the lens is the UV adjustment. Yeah, great question. We can adjust the lens three times and then you need to lock in the lens. Locking in the lens means flooding the entire lens with UV light and that polymerizes the entire lens and then the patient's uh, refraction is stable for the rest of their life. So you get three attempts to make a change. So you can change your target. You can try out different refractions. So no, I want more near, I want more distance and change the focal point of the lens. And once you're happy, after three, up to three adjustments, you can do one, two, or three adjustments. And then you say, I want to lock it in. And then you do a two lock-in procedure where you uh, lock in the lens to make sure the refractions never change. The patient is, is all satisfied? Well, all satisfied is always difficult, but there's, it has a tremendously high satisfaction rate. Uh, what we hear is the ratio of handshakes to hugs has gone way up. Patients are extremely happy with this. They spend a lot more time with the doctor than they would with a typical lens. In a typical fixed lens, the doctor says, uh, here is your lens, mm -hmm. they put it in, and they never see the doctor again. Whereas with the light adjustable lens, uh, there's a lot of uh, care that is being given. There's conversation with the patient. What do you like? How can we make your vision better? So it's much more interactive, so it's obvious to the patient what they're paying for. They're paying for all of that time and care, the human touch 
uh, that they get from the light adjustable lens, as well as the cool technology. So they're paying not only for the technology, but for the physician's time and effort and, and, and intelligence. I think the adjustable lens is to satisfy the, the patient and the doctor. That's right. Doctors are much more happy. I've, we've seen so many doctors say to us, they were kind of getting uh, ready to retire, and then they got the light adjustable lens in their practice, and now they're much more excited, they're working harder, they're reinvigorated for providing uh, vision to their patients. Okay, thank you for your talking about uh, My pleasure. Um, okay. My pleasure and very nice yeah. meeting you. Thank you very much. 안녕하세요. 강남 서울 발근안과 박형지 원장입니다. 제가 2024년 미국 안과학회에 참석하기 위해서 이렇게 시카고에 왔습니다. 오늘 이 안과학회에 참석을 해보니까 정말 많은 새로운 장비들과 새로운 백내장 렌즈들이 많이 선을 보이고 있는데요. 이제 곧 조만간 이 새로운 렌즈들을 이용해서 백내장 수술을 할수 있지 않을까 생각이 듭니다. 많은 회사들이 정말 좋은 제품들을 가지고 선을 보이고 있는데 전부를 다볼 수는 없었지만 제 눈에 좀 띄는 여러 가지 아이템들이 좀 있었는데요. 그런 것들도 이제 새로 접촉을 해서 함께 사용할 수 있도록 노력해 보겠습니다. 이제는 렌즈의 도수를 조절할 수 있는 그런 렌즈가 지금 나와 있습니다. 좌회선을 쬐면 렌즈의 도수가 이렇게 변화할 수 있게 렌즈를 제작한 회사가 있는데요. 아마 조만간에 국내에 런칭이 되지 않을까 그런 생각이 듭니다. 지금까지 저희가 백내장 수술을 하는 렌즈들은 렌즈가 이미 정해져 있는 렌즈였습니다. 그래서 만약 수술을 하고 난 뒤에 굴절 오차가 있을 때는 렌즈를 교환을 하거나 또 라실 라섹을 통해서 각막을 이용을 해서 도수 오차를 교정하는 방법밖에 없었는데요. 이제는 렌즈를 삽입한 상태에서 자외선을 이렇게 조이게 되면 은 렌즈의 도수가 이렇게 변화가 생기는 그런 렌즈가 나와 있기 때문에 어, 렌즈를 교환하지 않고도 본인에게 최적의 눈 상태로 맞는 도수를 만들어 줄수 있는 그런 아주 획기적인 렌즈가 선을 보이고 있습니다. 세상은 넓고 할 일은 많다. 대한민국 서울에서만 제가 이렇게 있다가 또 이렇게 미국까지 와서 미국 안과 학회에 참석을 하고 보니까 정말 많은 안과 의사들이 참석을 하고 있고 또 새로운 기술, 또 새로운 장비들, 그리고 새로운 약품들 이런 것들을 전시하고 있는 모습들을 보면서 어, 앞으로도 더욱더 빠른 이런 세상의 어떤 새로운 기술들에 대해서 접목을 하고 또 수술 방법도 더욱더 더 발전을 시켜 나가는 그런 안과 의사가 되어야겠다고 생각이 듭니다. 라이트 어저스터블 렌즈라고 해서 지금 그 렌즈를 지금 제가 오늘 보게 됐는데요. 이 렌즈를 빨리 런칭을 해서 우리 환자분들 백내장 수술에 접목을 좀 시켜서 더 좋은 결과로 나타날 수 있도록 제가 한번 시도해 보고 노력해 보도록 하겠습니다. 어, 제가 그렇게 해볼수 있도록 노력을 좀 하려고 합니다. 이상 미국 시카고에서 박형집 원장이었습니다.